Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Neon's Movie Reviews. I'm Neon, this is my review channel. Uh, today I'm talking about Alex Proyas's Knowing. And uh, before I dive into that, if you enjoy my content, please give this video a like, really, really helps out the channel. And uh, we are a couple weeks into the summer of Nick Cage. Still got a couple more weeks to go, uh, so stay tuned and uh, please subscribe for, uh, for to be notified about more content. But uh, yeah, um, Knowing. This was a film that I've known about for a while. It's been in my collection for years, just never gotten around to seeing it. I like Alex Proyas as a filmmaker. Um, I, I really like Dark City, really enjoy iRobot, even doesn't quite hold up as well, but it's just a fun fucking movie. Um, and this is one that I always had a kind of a bad feeling about, but basic plot... Um, Nick Cage is, well, let me backtrack. Film starts off, takes place in the 50s, and we have uh, this classroom. They are doing a time capsule. The assignment is to draw a picture of what you, th what the future is going to look like. And 50 years, they're going to open it and look at everybody's work, and yeah, it'll be fun. Um, glimpse in the past kind of thing. Uh, one of the girls in the class it just writes a series of numbers on the, the sheets of paper. That's all that she does. And uh, teacher takes papers, puts them away, uh, puts them in the thing, and girl goes missing. They find her later on, and she's been carving these uh, into wood and into the doors with her bare hands, with her fingernails. They're all bleeding and shit. So that's the setup. Uh, jump forward uh, 50 years later, they take this out of the ground. Nick Cage's son happens to be the one that gets that, that paper. Nick Cage starts looking at it, notices a couple dates on there, line up to 9-11. And, or there's a series of numbers on there that look like dates. They, and a series of numbers afterwards seem to line up to the death toll on that date. And starts finding all these natural disasters. Then starts realizing that, oh wait, these other series of numbers that I can't identify are la the latitude and longitudes of these incidents. And so he starts going you know, full conspiracy mode, starts looking through it, going hard, realizes that every horrible disaster in the past 50 years has been predicted, death toll, latitude and longitude, and the date, all on this. And... Then he notices that there are three dates that have yet to happen. And uh, that's that's the setup. Um, really, really fucking good. Really engaging film. Uh, I I have not done... I have not looked into this film. I do... Unless I'm very familiar with the film, I try not to do research on it beforehand. Um, it's just something of mine. But... Looking at this film, look specifically the CGI and uh, some of the, the costumes and stuff like that, I can tell this film was done on a budget. It was not a big budget film. Uh, it's a small studio that pushed it out, but I'm really glad that they did because what they were able to pull off with the budget works. Like, there's a couple of parts where you're like, mm, CGI is not the best, but overall, I really enjoy the, um, I really enjoyed all of the disaster sequences and how they were filmed. I don't know how the fuck they got away with the PG-13 rating. Uh, these are like, <laughs> these, these put Man of Steel and Final Destin Destination movies to shame. Like, these are intense fucking scenes. Um, they're not ultra gory or anything like that, but they are brutal and they're very believable the, the way that they're portrayed, um, ignoring the CGI. Um, but yeah, this, this was really surprisingly entertaining and I was engaged as well. The moment that those numbers come out and he starts realizing the dates, I'm there. I was just like, Ooh, okay, let's, let's do this. And, uh. Yeah, really, really recommend this. Um, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. There's a couple things in the ending that I'm not going to get into here. Uh, I do f want, this is a film I do feel is best to go in just knowing the hook and go see it. Um, but yeah, it's very good, 
ending could have been handled a little bit better, but they also pull pull it like they stumble a little bit and then they they fix it immediately. So I can't can't fault them too much. Um, and it just ends on a really good note for, for this type of movie. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, if you've seen it, you know the ending, and yeah, you, yeah, let me know in the in the comments what what you thought of the ending if you have seen this. Um, I thoroughly love the ending, minus like the the couple minutes leading up to the ending. But yeah, this film really engaging. Really good filmmaking by Alex Proyas. You can tell it's done on a budget, but he put the money where it counted. Uh, didn't need the best special effects, just needed it to be good enough. And needed the, the, the actors to sell the performance, needed the cinematography to sell the moment, and it just it really worked all around. Um, there's a couple parts later on that I do have issues with outside of the ending. Uh, they're usually the sections that are tied to that. They very reminiscent of Dark City in some parts, but overall, really enjoyed this film. Really recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna wrap this up. Uh, that was knowing. Um, again, yeah, you know, let me know what you thought of the ending. If and uh, or just overall, what did you think of this movie? Um, did you enjoy it only because of the ending? Did you not enjoy the ending and that ruined the movie for you? You enjoy the whole movie except for the ending. Like, what are your thoughts? Uh, for me, I enjoyed it pretty much beginning to end, minus a couple little tiny bits and pieces. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap this up. Hope you uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for for watching this, and hope you all stay safe.